हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन ऑफ चैप्टर एट इंट्रोडक्शन टू टिग्नोमेट्री वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट टिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोज ऑफ सम स्पेसिफिक एंगल्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू कैलकुलेट टिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोज ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स नाउ टू एंगल्स आर सेट टू बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री इफ देर सम इक्वल्स टू नाइन्टी डिग्री एज यू कैन सी 55 degree plus 35 degree will give you 90 degree and 60 degree plus 30 degree will give you 90 degree so we are going to discuss about the trigonometric ratios of complementary angles now for this what we have to do we have to consider a right angle triangle right angled at b now can you see any pair of complementary angles yes you can see we know that angle a plus angle c is equal to 90 degree since angle b is of 90 degree so by angle sum property angles of sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree since this is 90 degree so angle a plus angle c will give you 90 degree now what will be the trigonometric ratios with respect to angle a since we are considering angle a so sin of a is what perpendicular upon hypotenuse so we are considering this angle so this will be perpendicular and this will be hypotenuse so sin a will be bc upon ac similarly what is cos a cos a is base upon hypotenuse with respect to angle a this will be base so ab upon ac will be cos a for tan a tan a is what perpendicular upon base since this is perpendicular and this is base so bc upon ab will give you tan a now what about other three trigonometric ratios cosecant of a this is reciprocal of sin a so 1 upon sin a this will be ac upon bc secant a is what reciprocal of cos a so 1 upon cos a will give you ac upon ab which is secant a what about cot a cot a is reciprocal of tan a we have already calculated the value of tan a so 1 upon tan a will give you cot a so ab upon bc now as we know angle a plus angle c is equal to 90 degree so i can write angle c as 90 degree minus of angle a for convenience we shall write 90 degree minus a instead of 90 degree minus angle a now we have to find that side ab is opposite to angle 90 minus a and the side bc is the side adjacent to angle 90 degree minus a now by using the definition of trigonometric ratios we will calculate the six trigonometric ratios first of all sin of angle c as we have taken angle c as 90 degree minus a as we can write this as so perpendicular upon hypotenuse will give you the value of sin of angle c so with respect to angle c what will be the perpendicular ab and ac will be the hypotenuse so sin of angle c will be ab upon ac as we have already calculated the value of cos a which is also ab upon ac so we can write sin of 90 degree minus a is equal to cos a now what will be the value of cos of angle c so in place of angle c we can write 90 degree minus a so cos of 90 degree minus a is what b upon h means we need to consider with respect to angle c so what will be the base with respect to angle c bc will be the base and ac will be the hypotenuse so bc upon ac will give you the value of cos of angle c also bc upon ac is what sin of a so we can write cos of 90 degree minus a is equal to sin a 
Now we will calculate the value of tan of angle C. Again in place of angle C we can write 90 degree minus A. So tan of 90 degree minus A is what? Perpendicular upon base. Since AB is the perpendicular. So AB upon BC is the base. So BC. Also cot A is AB upon BC. So we can write tan of 90 degree minus A as cot A. Now what will be the? cot of angle C. Again 90 degree minus A. So cot of 90 degree minus A will give you base upon perpendicular. What will be the base? Base will be BC and what will be the perpendicular? AB will be the perpendicular. So BC upon AB. Also tan of A is what? BC upon AB. So we can write cot of 90 degree minus A is equal to tan A. Now what will be the value of secant of angle C? Secant of angle C in place of angle C you will write 90 degree minus A. So hypotenuse upon base because secant A is reciprocal of what? Cos A means secant of angle C will be the reciprocal of cos of angle C. So you will get hypotenuse upon base. This is AC upon BC. Also value of cosecant A is what? AC upon BC. So you can write secant of 90 degree minus A as cosecant A. Now cosecant of angle C is what? 90 degree minus of A. So cosecant of 90 degree minus A is what? Hypotenuse upon perpendicular which is AC upon AB. Also secant A is what? AC upon AB. So we can write cosecant of 90 degree minus A as secant A. So we have the values of 6 trigonometric ratios with respect to angle C which is 90 degree minus A as sine of 90 degree minus A is cos A. Cos of 90 degree minus A as sin A. Tan of 90 degree minus A as cot A. Cot of 90 degree minus A as tan A. Secant of 90 degree minus A as cosecant A. And cosecant of 90 degree minus A as secant A. Now what will happen if we substitute A as 90 degree or A as 0 degree. So first we will consider the value of angle A as 90 degree. So what will we get? Sine of 90 degree minus A. So in place of A you have to write 90 degree. So sine of 90 degree minus 90 degree will give you what? Sine of 0 degree and you know the value of sine of 0 degree is 0. Now cosecant of 0 degree is what? Cosecant is reciprocal of sine. So what will you get? 1 upon sine of 0 degree. Now sine of 0 degree is 0 and 1 upon 0 is not defined. So value of cosecant of 0 degree is not defined. Now cos of 90 degree minus A. In place of A you have to write 90 degree. So what will you get? Cos of 0 degree. And you know the value of cos of 0 degree is 1. Now what is the value of secant 0 degree? Secant is reciprocal of cos. So secant of 0 degree is 1 upon cos 0 degree. So what you will get 1 upon 1 is equal to 1. Now tan of 90 degree minus A is what? Tan 0 degree. Tan 0 degree is what? 0. So Cot of 0 degree is what? 1 upon tan 0 degree. So 1 upon 0 is what? Not defined. So the value of cot of 0 degree is what? Not defined. Now we will substitute A as 0 degree. Now sine of 90 degree minus A means what? In place of A you need to write 0 degree. So you will get sine of 90 degree which is 1. So how you will calculate cosecant of 90 degree? 
1 upon sin of 90 degree means 1 upon 1, you will get 1. So, the value of sin of 90 degree is 1. Cosecant of 90 degree is 1. Now, cos of 90 degree minus A. So, in place of A, you need to write 0 degree. You will, what will you get? Cos of 90 degree, which is 0. And secant is reciprocal of cos. So, secant of 90 degree is what? 1 upon cos 90 degree, which will give you not defined. Now, tan of 90 degree minus A is what? In place of A, you need to write 0 degree. So, what will you get? Tan 90 degree. And you know the value of tan 90 degree is what? Not defined. So, cot of 90 degree is what? 1 upon tan 90 degree. So, 0 upon 1 will give you 0. Now, we will understand with the help of examples. Example 1. Evaluate tan of 65 degree upon cot 25 degree. Now, for this, as we know that cot A is what? Tan of 90 degree minus A. So, therefore, we can write cot 25 degree as tan of 90 degree minus 25 degree. Means we have taken this angle as A. So, what will you get? Tan of 65 degree. So, I can write cot 25 degree as tan of 65 degree. So, just replace cot function by tan function. What will you get? Tan 65 degree upon cot 25 degree is equal to tan 65 degree upon tan 65 degree is equal to 1. Because this will cancel out, you will get 1. Now, example 2. Express cot 85 degree plus cos 75 degree in terms of trigonometric ratios of angles between 0 degree and 45 degree. So, what will we get? Cot of 85 degree. We can write cot of 85 degree as cot 90 degree minus 5 degree because 90 minus 5 will give you 85. And cos of 75 degree as 90 degree minus 15 degree because 90 minus 15 will give you 75. So, cot of 90 degree minus 5 degree plus cos of 90 degree minus 15 degree. Now, this function will give you tan 5 degree and what will be cos 90 degree minus 15 degree? It is sin 15 degree. So, we have expressed this in terms of angles between 0 degree and 45 degree. Now, example 3. If sin 3a is equal to cos a minus 26 degree, where 3a is at acute angle, find the value of a. Now, we are given that sin of 3a is equal to cos a minus 26 degree. And we know that sin 3a is equal to what? We can write sin 3a as cos of 90 degree minus 3a. So, from these two equations, what will we get? Cos of a minus 26 degree is equal to cos of 90 minus 3a. So, a minus 26 degree and 90 degree minus 3a are both acute angles. Therefore, what will we get? 90 degree minus 3a is equal to a minus 26 degree. So, after solving for the value of a, what will you get? We will get a as 29 degree. Now, we will discuss exercise 8.3 question number 2. Show that tan 48 degree into tan 23 degree into tan 42 degree into tan 67 degree is equal to 1. So, 
what will we do we will consider this tan 48 degree into tan 23 degree into tan 42 degree into tan 67 degree equation as a now simplify the given problem by converting sum of the tan functions to cot functions we know that tan of 48 degree is what tan of 90 degree minus 42 degree means what cot 42 degree and tan of 23 degree is what we can write 23 degree as 90 minus 67 degree so tan of 90 degree minus 67 degree will give you cot of 67 degree so in place of tan 48 degree we can write cot 42 degree in place of tan 23 degree we can write cot 67 degree so using both the equations in a we get tan of 90 degree minus 42 degree into tan of 90 degree minus 67 degree into tan of 42 degree into tan of 67 degree so in place of this we can write cot 42 degree in place of this we can write cot 67 degree and these two as it is so combine cot 42 degree and tan 42 degree cot 67 degree tan 67 degree this will give you 1 because cot function is reciprocal of tan function so i can write cot 42 degree as 1 upon tan 42 degree so that will cancel out you will get 1 here also i can write cot 67 degree as 1 upon tan 67 degree that will cancel out you will get 1 so 1 into 1 is 1 so we have proved that the value of this is equal to 1 now next question question number 4 if tan of a is equal to cot b we need to prove that a plus b is equal to 90 degree now we are given with tan a is equal to cot b and we know that we can write cot b as tan of 90 degree minus b here we need to prove a plus b is equal to 90 degree for this what we have to do simply substitute the value of cot b from equation 1 in the given equation so what will you get tan a is equal to tan of 90 degree minus b so we can write a is equal to 90 degree minus b here just simply a plus b is equal to 90 degree so we have proved that a plus b is equal to 90 degree now next question question number six if a b and c are interior angles of a triangle a b c then show that sine of b plus c by 2 is equal to cos a by 2 now we know that for a given triangle sum of all the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree so a b and c since these are the angles so sum of these angles is equal to 180 degree so a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degree mark this equation as 1 now we need to find the value of b plus c divided by 2 now simplify the equation 1 here how you will calculate the value of b plus c b plus c is equal to 180 degree minus a now divide this equation by 2 what will you get b plus c divided by 2 since we need to find out the value of b plus c divided by 2 so we have to divide this equation by 2 so b plus c divided by 2 will give you 180 degree minus a divided by 2 which is what 90 degree minus a by 2 now multiply both sides by sine function so sine of b plus c divided by 2 is what sine of 90 degree minus 
a by 2. Now since sine of 90 degree minus a by 2 is what? Cos of a by 2. So from these equations what will you get? Sine of b plus c this one is equal to cos of a by 2. So we have proved that sine of b plus c divided by 2 is equal to cos of a by 2. Now this is your home assignment. Question number 1. Evaluate the following. Cos of 48 degree minus sine of 42 degree. Part 2. Cosecant of 31 degree minus secant of 59 degree. Now question number 2. If tan of 2a is equal to cot of a minus 18 degree where 2a is an acute angle, find the value of a. Question number 3. If secant of 4a is equal to cosecant of a minus 20 degree where 4a is an acute angle find the value of a let us quickly recapitulate what we have studied today the values of trigonometric ratios with respect to angle c where we have considered angle c as 90 degree minus angle a so sine of 90 degree minus a is what cos a Cos of 90 degree minus A is what? Sin A. And tan of 90 degree minus A is what? Cot A. Cot of 90 degree minus A is tan A. Secant of 90 degree minus A is cosecant A. And cosecant of 90 degree minus A is secant A. So, that is the complementary angles of 6 trigonometric ratios are formulated with respect to the angles that lie between 0 degree and 90 degree. I hope you have understood the concept of finding the 6 trigonometric ratios with respect to the complementary angles very well. Thank you.